Thank you for purchasing this Hosted product. This video is part of a repair replacement series produced to assist you. If you require any assistance, please do not hesitate to contact our tech support team at 770-368-4700, extension 3454. 462 Horizon Series Stretchers Gas Spring Replacement. Tools that are required for this replacement procedure. New gas spring replacement part. Crescent wrench. Hammer. Needle nose pliers. Paper towel or cloth. Small vice grips. And a 332nd Allen wrench. To begin, lock stretcher by placing the red pedal down. Lift up Fowler. Using the Allen wrench, loosen the set screw on the stop collar and lower down. Take the crescent wrench and loosen the gas spring nut. Do not remove. Using the vice grips, place a paper towel or cloth over the teeth and clamp the vice grips about a half inch under the threads. Now, turn clockwise to let the pressure off the gas spring. You will need to adjust the vice grips accordingly. While the gas spring nut is still attached, have an assistant hold the Fowler frame up and take out the root clip. Then tap out the clevis pin at the bottom of the gas spring. Once the pin is out, hold the gas spring. It is now ready to be removed. Make sure the actuating pin, number two on the diagram, does not fall out. You can apply a piece of tape on the thread to the tube to secure it in place. Take the new gas spring and remove the blue cap. Next, unscrew the nut on the gas spring and discard. Remove the parts on the old gas spring to reinstall on the new one. Replace these parts in the same order as you took them off. First, stop collar. Second, gas spring nut. Third, ball retainer. Note, beveled in down. And last, add the pivot ball. Screw this on until the top of the ball is flush with the top of the pin in the gas spring. Remove the tape and stick the ball on the gas spring back in the hole on the frame, making sure the actuating pin does not fall out. Screw the gas spring nut on three or four turns, just enough to hold it on. Then attach the gas spring at the bottom with the clevis pin and root clip. Now that both ends are secured, hand tighten the gas spring nut. Take the vice grips with a towel or cloth on the teeth and clamp about a half an inch below the threads and turn counterclockwise. As you turn, you will notice the red handles moving out as pressure is applied. If the fowler pulls down and stays down, turn the shaft counterclockwise with a half turn until the fowler will not pull down. If the gas spring starts going up on its own, back off a half turn now tighten the gas spring nut and slide the stop collar in place and tighten the set screw. Try the red handle to see if they are working correctly. Your hostage stretcher gas spring replacement procedure is now complete.